Hello, 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 hello.
And here we go. <coughs> this is my first time on Permadeath and my first time live streaming. Ooh. Luckily I land on a nice frozen planet, one of my favourite planets. I think that's some of the most beautiful scenery and screenshots that you can take. You can always get some interesting lore from, from these abandoned buildings. And quite a few nanite crystals as well. So first things first. I need zinc, iridium, iron, carbon. There's more iron. Anybody who's watching, feel free to chat in the comments, talk about next, what you're expecting, what you're hoping for. Do you think much will be uh, shown in the E3 conference?
Yes, this is my first permada. I've done about 300 hours overall in No Man's Sky. And yet to do permadeath, so thought it would be a good way to do my first live stream as well. Kind of need to get used to not sprinting and using my jetpack, etc. Are you guys uh, looking forward to next? There's a lot of speculation about the uh, multiplayer at the moment. I see quite a few people who actually aren't quite happy about it. Uh, it will definitely be a game changer. Way too excited. Can't hold it in. The 24th of July can not come quicker. And I need to find cover. So Ray Fusion, are you uh, are you PC, PS4, or are you hoping to play it on Xbox? Finally managed to get a free hour today after work, so figured I might try my hands at live streaming. It is something I'd love to do as a well, as a hobby at the moment and perhaps more in the future. Is it multiplayer the uh, the one thing that you're looking forward to the most then? I will say that multiplayer is something that I'm looking forward to myself. I've been thinking of starting my own little uh, YouTube series 
me and my brother trying to meet up and making their way to Cobra TV's hub if the hubs are possible of having and Cobra does decide to do one as well. Yeah, I think with the animals, like, I love the variety of them, but it's the sounds, they all sound the same, and you never see them, like, roaming around as herds, or, or grazing, going to a warthole, things like that, those sort of things I would love to see. Uh, hello there, Mr. Whippy, I shall take your carbon. What do you think of the, um, of the ships that have been shown from Wake and Titan then? What's the speculation on those? Yeah, me too. I just, they've kept so much hidden and so much aside and if they've been working on next for a year there's going to be a lot more than just multiplayer. I think they only mentioned stuff about multiplayer just to keep people people in the Xbox community try and pull them in and Do you not reckon there'll be anything that comes into game then? Fusion. Oh, I've wondered way too far. Oh, where did I come from? Crap, crap, crap. I personally think that if they are um, multi-crew ships like what people are saying uh, I don't think they'll be exocraft, I reckon they'll be multi-crew ships or at least that's what I'm hoping for anyway because I think that'd, that'd be such an awesome thing to, to have added into the game. Ooh, just in time. But I did see some people, I know on um, Cobra's video, he was talking about where it sort of looks like you might be able to drive your exocraft or... Um, land your exo craft inside of those ships perhaps four four players squad up and or drive on with their exo craft fly to another another planet and colonize it that would be awesome the possibilities are limitless I oh, know they're ambitious but but somebody's got to be ambitious. <laughs> it would be awesome, definitely. I would like to see more variety in the, uh, the biomes as well of the planet. And perhaps something more, more along the lines of, um, I don't know, rare, rare loot maybe, or or something on the uh, exotic planet. At the moment, the only thing that you really have there is the. Um, oh god. Is the huge rings with the law inside of them, which, as awesome as that is, they're a bit a bit dull once you've flown around them a fair few times. Yeah, I don't think that 
Sean Murray and Hello Games would have forgotten about the single players. Those solo players have stuck it out these years. Like the past two years. Maybe make it so the multi-crew ships are possible to be flown on well with just one player. Uh, very true fusion. Maybe they've the Hello Games have they saw that how good the community is within No Man's Sky. They're trying to bring everybody together in multiplayer. They actually want them to to interact and meet up with new people, do new things together, fly multi crew ships, etc. Explore all these new planets that we're gonna have. <laughs> it is Hickman and Hickman, yes. <laughs> that is my brother. <laughs> well, I've always said if I don't laugh at my own jokes no one will uh, so I need 200 iridium 20 zinc and more iron What does everybody think of the interview with Sean Murray then? Especially with what's going on in the uh, background in the last few minutes. I've been playing since launch. I had it on PC to begin with from launch and then, uh, then I also got it on PS4 when it was on sale. Just for ease of playing it, really. Like I said, I'll put probably about... Yeah, but how do you explain the trees swaying? And the, uh... The walking sentinel in the background. And the new animation around it. So now a lot of people was fe well. I did actually see a video where somebody um, merged the fir the first image with the image of the 2015 E3, where they um, they showed that picture or that image, and they merged it, and it was perfect. But I'm sure it's for the first five minutes, it's just a still image, and then the last couple of minutes of the interview, they change it to actual footage. And a lot of people reckon that they've uh, sneaked in a little bit of footage of of net. But who knows? I may be wrong on on going off things that I've saw and people that I've spoke to. It's worth checking out. How far away is my ship? Oh, seven minutes. Oh god, that's too far. Yep, we all may be wrong. 
Knowing Sean Murray, he probably has some up his sleeve. Or in his beard, should I say. to be a big surprise. I feel like a little kid at Christmas at the moment. Oh, I'm gonna die. I can see it. I can see it. No, that's true. They don't deserve any more bad pub uh, publicity. They've worked hard and they've carried on working these past... These past few years. They haven't stopped. They may not have been very vocal about it. He might not have communicated much, but they've still... They've still pushed as hard as they could. And I think they've still released, with every update, the game has just gotten better and better. And I I think that it's just going to keep getting better and better. I don't think this will be the end. I think there will be a lot more, even after next. Hey spell check, how you doing? Since I, uh, since I joined this No Man's Sky community, I mean the No Man's Sky cast, um, I've been watching Cobra L plays, I've joined Cobra's Discord, just everybody is fantastic in this No Man's Sky community, they really are, I mean so many people helped me put together my YouTube channel, I've help, had help from my brother, from Lily Hot from No Man's Sky Calf, she created my logo. I've had people give me tips. I've had Spellcheck helping me out with my uh, Atlas logo. Uh, it's been brilliant, and I've never known a community quite like it in gaming. I have to agree, Fusion. It is a shame that they're they're so stuck in their lying ways. But oh well, if they're just gonna be like that, I'd rather not have them in this community, to be honest. Especially with multiplayer coming in, it's those types of people that are gonna be the people that that are just gonna ruin the game for us that have stuck it out all this time. What are you thinking of it so far, Spellcheck? All opinions are uh, noted and welcome. Yeah, that's true. Some of the screenshots I've saw, like, they, they baffle me. They don't even look like they're from in the game. Like, I'd love to have them up on my wall if I could. I've told, I have said to some people that they should put them into, into like, canvases and um, posters, etc. I'll gladly buy them, because they look amazing, and I love sci-fi. I love the imagination.
let's hope it stays filled with good people. I am an Xbox person myself, to be totally honest. But um, I know quite a few people on, on the Xbox community that can be very much trolls and would love to destroy a game like this for us people, for our community. But we're a strong community as it is, and I think we have stitched together well. Thanks, Vulture. I'll, uh, I'll keep that in there. I'm finding it hard at the moment to interact with everybody so much. Like I say, this is my first live stream, so it's a bit weird for me, but... I'm glad you're liking it so far. No, I need to find myself some Heridium. And some Zinc. Wow, there is nothing around here at all. Ooh, zinc. Cheers, Hickman. So I try my best to keep it up. Hopefully in any of my spare time that I have, I will be trying to do more, more live streams. And hopefully more videos. I'm quite enjoying doing the uh, the video editing I've done so far, so hopefully I'll be able to get on and do a bit more, a bit more of that with the help of my uh, of my brother, hopefully. And he is the one that's came up with the uh, the rhymes and the poems for the videos I've done so far. So most credit goes to him. So what do you guys think I should do? Do you reckon I should try heading straight towards my ship? Roam around, find some good shots to take a picture of? Explore and just find all the animals I can? I've got to say I would love after next for them to to really increase the amount of different species on the planet. Like, I would love for some planets here to come across to have, you know, like 50 plus animals just to really make it like that, that extra challenge, but also see. <laughs> uh, yeah, I suppose I am being a bit. <laughs> I'm forgetting I'm on permadeath. The closest I've played to permadeath would be um, survival. Which I've done about 50 hours plus on and I'm quite sure I haven't died on that yet. I may be wrong, but... No, I'm more welcome to having, having people giving input. Ooh, didn't think that was going to... Uh, can actually stabilise me there. Ah, just get a bit warmer here whilst I whilst I wait around. Just get have a look, see if there is any good shots I can take from here. Ah, oh, damn it, I'm stuck. No. Uh, do you know one thing, and it's something that I haven't actually, uh, uh, I will do, I will do, just, if there's any input or if you think I'm walking past a good shot, let me know, because in-game photography, especially with No Man's Sky, is something that I love doing, but I'm so glad that you got me, uh, into like introduced to Twitter and back into No Man's Sky and Cobra Hickman 84 
Ooh, hello there, Mr. Zinc. Wow, fair play. I had a lot of people telling me that permadeath extremely hard. Yeah, me too. Snow planets are one of my one of my favourites. They're just full of flora. They're always beautiful to take shots from. Although I'm struggling to find a decent shot here. Maybe I have one with Famian. Oh, I'm actually spotting quite a bit of Fabian in photo mode. I'm liking this. wait for my thing to fully charge. Oh, getting too excited. Yeah, but as I was um as I was saying, one of the things that I actually look forward to so much in in uh well with next coming out and I really hope that it we can do it is being able to go into photo mode and actually seeing our avatar, our character stood there and being able to meet up with my friends and not not just having this glowing orb, having these actual characters stood there. I think it would make for some awesome shots. I mean, correct me if you think different, but I really can't wait for that. As small as a thing that is, it's something I look forward to so much. Okay. <laughs> it definitely will be selfie heaven. No Man's Sky at the moment is selfie heaven. Well, no, not so much selfie heaven. I'm getting that wrong. Photography heaven, should I say. He is to having a selfie stick as one of the exosuit upgrades. <laughs> Yes, yes, that is something that I think would really expand so much in the game. Actually having moving NPCs walking around, interacting with each other. Maybe even speaking a bit to each other in Gek language. Or Viking, Corvac. Does anyone reckon any new races might be introduced with next? Or perhaps maybe the uh, the travellers that we've seen so far, maybe they're a bit more lively as well. Okay, where is my ship? Because I'm, I really need to get to that. Five minutes away. Okay, not too bad. <laughs> uh, I like that. Ah, you bloody whipping. Oh, god damn it. Ah, stop it. Go away. Die. Die. And you. I'll sort you. Can't hide from me. Um, there's this whole monarch thing unexplained so far. Ooh, what do you mean by that fusion? Oh wow, is that you spell checks? I think I saw that as well. Is that the um the picture of the the avatars that was on the the Xbox game cover holding the selfie stick? I actually thought that was real at first and then I remembered, oh wait, he wasn't holding the selfie stick. Like, what the hell? <laughs> you managed to trick me. Yeah, that was awesome, that was. Fair play, like. He 
you seem quite good at uh, image editing from what I've seen from your spell check. <coughs> Alright, let's try and make it to this ship. Have I discovered you? I have. Oh my god, where did all these appear from? Oh god damn you. You a bit of help in me. I'm gonna take it back down. I do apologise now for any foul language as well. I will try to keep it to a minimum. I would like a uh, a clean stream if I can. <laughs> And although there is only three viewers at the moment, I will thank you for actually uh, viewing me and watching this long. I will admit it is, um, it is quite nerve-wracking. I don't know why, but it is. <laughs> There's an aggressive animal. Nope, go away. Where are you? You're here somewhere. I haven't discovered an aggressive one. Oh god! Damn it, it's right there. Oh, no, no, I'm running. Oh no! Leave me alone, please. I don't want to die just yet. I'm too young to die. Oh, I should have used my Famium or my Power Canister. Oh, which one, which one, which one? Uh. Oh, I'm gonna, probably going to regret that, but... Yeah. think I've got enough to fix that. I do indeed. Awesome. Okay, let's get you filled up. And let's get some launch into you. So do um do any of you do live streams or a YouTube channel? You know anything like that? Slot. I'm already collecting iron. Ah, okay, so I'm collecting a vision as well. <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean, fusion. When I was um, when I was doing my videos and I was, I was trying to set up my YouTube channel, I must have spent about a week away from actually playing No Man's Sky. I was going to attempt to help the uh, with the Waking Titan with this whole whole satellite malarkey going on. Some people were saying they needed a 4K TV. Try and find out what's some writing right in mental it turns out it's all gibberish at the moment we can't make nothing of it but yeah it took me away from the game a bit too much so I thought it would be nice to come back play it a bit more a bit more before next remember what the vanilla version of No Man's Sky felt like
Do you do much on uh, Twitter fusion? Or do you just follow No Man's Sky stuff? And I don't think I should have wandered into this cave because I can't remember. Oh no, no, I shouldn't have. Go away, go away! No. Why did they come out of nowhere? Die, will you? Die! Let me know if you can hear my uh, my TV sound coming through my headset as well. Currently I only have a headset that can work as a mic, it's not working as um not bringing the audio through as well. Oh no, leave me alone! I don't want to die yet. I'm enjoying this. God damn you, you goddamn creatures. Why am I busy? Yeah, can't get me up here, can you? Okay. I'm just going to disappear for two seconds. I'm just going to grab a drink. I'll be back shortly. Okay, I'm back. Okay, so about 40 minutes in and I'm only about two, three minutes away from my ship. Not a, not a bad start if I do say so myself. Oh, make that closer to four minutes. <laughs> oh, I know, you're telling me. They chase you to the end of the earth, those things do. You just want a bit of peace and quiet, and no, no, they don't. They won't allow that. Why is my mining beam not showing up? Oh, it is there. So fusion, what uh, what sort of things do you do on Twitter? Do you just follow other people then, or or have you got like your own little thing going on there? Photography, in-game photography, things like that. I mean, I've seen obviously I've seen quite a few of the posts that you've done. We will definitely have to meet up at some point. Creatures. 
So you don't don't you all agree that like when you see the same creatures like this, sort of like a herd herd, that it'd be amazing to see them doing things and interacting with each other. Like for instance there's a goddamn little spider there that I can see. And maybe because they're in a herd they sort of protect their young. Do what they can to survive. I don't know, I'm just rambling now. <laughs> Nothing particular for me, I just enjoy the game so much that I want to share the experiences. You know what, and I'm glad that you do share those experiences. There's still stuff to this day that I that I see people posting up on Twitter and I think, wow, I've never seen one of those, or wow, I've never been to a planet like that. Just makes me want to explore it all the more. Well, I have to decide on a, on a good filter for this. Mm. You know what, I'm actually going to go with the default or vintage, default or vintage, oh I don't know. for that night time. Oh, and now something wants to kill me. Always something. Go away, leave me alone. I didn't do nothing to you, so why are you following me? God, you're persistent. Make me use up all my famium. Okay. Okay, so... Near enough three minutes to go to wrap my ship. All's going well so far. Bar a few spiders and a few whippies. Or lasher plants. I've heard of various names for those plants of which I could not repeat or will not repeat. Really need to get out of the habit of sprinting all the time. Another thing that I forgot how slow it scatter recharges. Spell check, are you uh, are you still there? If so and if you can comment, what's the uh, what's the thing that you're looking forward to the most from next? Or hoping to get with next, should I say? As none of us know what next will truly be other than multiplayer.
Okay, where to go? I really want to collect up as much Famium as possible, and I suppose Zinc as well. So, da -da -da -da. Yeah, it would be awesome. That really would be awesome, actually. Uh, actually, customizing your ships, but not just not just adding things to it, but maybe like the colours as well, so you can sort of actually single out your ship in a way. And then, if if they do really bring in this like colonies and like hubs and whatnot, being able to maybe create your own in-game emblem to sort of show show everyone like what part of the what part of the colony you are etc you know things like that I do totally agree they have noticed that not many people actually um, actually are that fussed about multiplayer at the moment which was quite a is quite a, quite a surprise to be honest it seemed like at one point that's all people wanted have any unit. The first one's free, if I remember right. Yeah, I know. Is that something that you don't like, or is that something that you would like, Fusion? Because me personally, I don't don't get me wrong, I think that you will have those trolls, you will have those No Man's Sky haters that are literally getting the game now just so that they can try and ruin our experience and the game that we love. But one, I think the community that we have in No Man's Sky at the moment is, is way too big and it's so much better than, so much better than any troll that's out there would like sometimes so I don't have anyone else to play with yet anyway well you can always join up with me I'd always be willing to, to to join in with anyone I mean like I said me me and my brother are hoping to meet up at some point in it and I do want to make my own um, my own like little YouTube series of our journey towards each other so I mean it like I would feel free welcoming anybody to come to come join us through No Man's Sky, the more the merrier. But I think I think the PvP in it, it, it as long as as long as Hello Games Health around the pod. Ooh, yeah actually. See what would I do without you guys? Not exactly health, but could be something in here useful. The Gek Charm. There we are, there's a question for everyone. Who's their, uh, or what's their favourite race? <laughs> Worth a shot, mate. I would have forgot to even look if it wasn't for you. <laughs> I really could do with some health, though. Um... Viking, wow. <laughs> uh, how come you like the Viking then? What is it about them that you like?
Oh, fair enough. So it literally is just like the cosmetic, the the look of them that you prefer. Oh, that's fair enough. See, me personally, I, I don't know why, but I I prefer the Gek for some bizarre reason. I don't know what it is about them. I don't know whether it's something to do with that perfume. Maybe they've maybe they've tricked me with it and they're making me delusional. Who knows? Bigger building behind me. Uh, you may well have done, but you did just make me spot some flying creatures as well. Thank you very much. And a bigger building behind me. And I'm missing plutonium. What am I doing at the moment? God. I appreciate the help. Call Vax all the way. See, I was I was about to say that because I've just started watching the. Um, oh, actually, before before I say anything, is there anybody who hasn't watched um, Lost in Space at the moment? The series on Netflix. Just because there's a few things I want to say about that and I just don't want to spoil it for anyone. Okay, good. Well... Hickman, you need to cover your ears for a minute if you don't want a little spoiler. I don't know how much is actually shown in the trailer. I'll wait a second because I don't know how long the delay is. <laughs> I figured you meant still on my to watch list. <laughs> but yeah, I um so I watched the first episode last night. Did I hear, did you hear everything, everyone commenting on the Lost Space robots, but, what? Commenting on the actual robots, but, as in like it, it's buttocks. <laughs> uh, yeah, well... Yeah, to be fair, from what I saw of it, the lad's got a pretty good shape to it, I will admit. But to be fair, it's the, um, it's the, the head that intrigued me more. It sort of made me... I will Google it spell check, don't worry. <laughs> It'll be the first thing I do when I come off this stream. <laughs> but yeah, it's a... It was the head of the the robot in it. It just reminds me of something from No Man's Sky and the way it works and it sort of makes me think that because I don't know how new this Lost in Space is but it makes me think that they were, sort of were inspired by No Man's Sky and I really would love to find out that they were. Because the way that they the way that they've done it and the different things in it and just just that robot just makes me think so much, so much of the Corvax. Spoiler alert, I apologise. But it really does. I don't know if that's just me, but... Uh, where is my ship? I keep losing track of my ship. Why am I so bad? Yeah, that's that's exactly the feeling I was getting fusion. It is that landing on this lost planet, not knowing anything about it, having a crash ship, thinking, "Oh God, what to do now?" and then going off and exploring, finding these other aliens. But like, it really does have that No Man's Sky feel to it, and I do think that the 
the uh, is it, would it be the director or the, the the script maker? I'm not too not too sure with uh, series and films and that. But I think that they must have seen No Man's Sky and it must have gave them gave them some some ideas. Although my brother did did point out to me when I said to him that it has a No Man's Sky feel that that they have um, apparently the people who made Lost in Space have took a lot of their ideas from the same sort of 80s, 70s, 80s sci-fi that No Man's Sky's took theirs from so it could just be coincidence but I don't know it seems seems too much of a coincidence for me Oh wow, I actually have 250 fame in, okay. Um, don't want to build. Let's, nope, god damn it. Okay, use that. You can never have too much fame, Ian. Never have too much plutonium either. So spell check, do you um do you do much with YouTube or Twitter, streaming, making your own videos, that sort of thing? Oh, okay, I need to find a cave. Far away, far away is my ship. Oh, it's just when I find lots of stuff. God, guys, my ship is in sight. Well, oh God, oh God, that was a bit too close. Quick, 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 quick! Get to my ship. Yes, I made it. First milestone done. Yes. Okay, I haven't died so far, so all looking good, guys. All looking good. Um, no, but I'm thinking of starting when next release is, I don't know. What is it you're thinking of starting doing? Like, live streams, just doing your own videos, video editing maybe? Because I've seen... It was, it was you that did, um... Is doing, like, the Atlas logo and whatnot for the, um, the Convergent, right? Or am I getting mixed up with a totally different person? So, yeah, that's you. Yeah, now, I've got, I've got to say, like some of the stuff that I've saw you've done is like really good, and I didn't realise that the um, the character holding the selfie stick was you, because that is really well done. So if it was like video editing and things and like image editing and whatnot that you're thinking of doing, I'd say go for it, mate. Like what what you got to lose, sort of thing. I mean, it's the way I'm thinking of it at the moment. I only have a few hours each day after work to to mess around with things, and then I've got my days off. But this is something that I've always thought of doing, and with having this No Man's Sky community, it's not just a in-game community everybody is so helpful outside of it so I'm sure if it was something you really wanted to try doing you'd have so much support like I said this is this is my first um, my first live stream that I've done and it's always nervous even though I've <laughs> thanks mate I I do video work for a living so it's difficult to do it online three times too Ah, okay, yeah, yeah, no, I get what you mean. 
I used to be a chef, well I was a chef for a couple of years and any time I went home I never wanted to cook because all I ever did at work was cook. So I do know the feeling, really do. <laughs> Luckily I'm not on camera at the moment, I'm just talking on camera, well, you know what I mean. I was just thinking that myself, Fusion. I really was. I was look when I came running over the hill. Then I was started thinking, wait, this doesn't look like the ship that I uh, that I remember. Although the um, the Razamama wasn't the that wasn't the ship that you got if you um, pre-ordered it, was it? Because I I'm sure I know I had the ship on my on my PC version of No Man's Sky and it was one that I had to uh, download before I actually actually started my game so I had it at the beginning I've awoken near the crashed starship I can only assume it belongs to me though I have no memory of it no sense of it before the crash must have affected my memory somehow Ah, yeah, the Alpha Vector. Yeah, no, yeah, you are right. I'm not sure why they've changed it. Is it evil po even possible to find one there? guys had a, a brief pause there all is good and I am back exosuit is connected and all systems functional and fueled which is actually true because I've already fueled my ship so I will be coming off well I will be ending this stream shortly as I have work early tomorrow so I'm glad that I've made it I've made it this far so far <laughs> it only took me almost an hour to find my ship. Before I go, what would uh, what do you guys reckon I should do? Do you reckon I should stay on this planet, try to discover every creature, get some good shots while I'm here, or do you reckon I should go off and explore the vast universe of No Man's Sky? Okay, well, I reckon I've got about 10 minutes left. I'll remember every random landing cost a fuel tank of plutonium. Okay, I didn't know. Oh, yeah, it's the same on survival. Yes, I do remember that now. Thank you for reminding me. <laughs> that could have been disastrous. Oh. 
Okay, so, well, okay, what I'll do, I think I'll, um, I've got ten minutes. I'll, I'll fly my ship. Let's see if we can find somewhere, somewhere that looks a bit more interesting. Explore a bit more. And really, right next to me was another, another building. I could have just walked there. Why does this game do this to me? <laughs> Uh, oh, it's only another abandoned building. They don't even have the free landing spots. So, uh, what's everybody's favourite favourite planet or biome? Because I admit, I I absolutely love these kind of planets. Like I love I love snow planets, ice planets, frozen planets. I think they look beautiful, look amazing. Get some really good shots there. Oh, I see we have a new view as well. Feel free to comment. Love to get your input. Ooh. Oh, yes. Hello, hello. Look at that, found myself a little trading post. Can't go wrong. So, fusion likes iridated planets. I do quite like iridated planets as well. I think at the right time, with the right light as well, you can get some really good uh, photo shots with them. It seems like I'm in a Corvax system as well. Ooh, I love the little head ring. Yeah. Well, let's see what he has to say. Oh god, I've gone from being able to understand almost everything to understanding nothing. As I approach the electronic life form, they instinctively start to an analyse me from head to foot. They chitter. Uh, Animatedly? God, I can't say that word, I apologise. Their head tilted to one side. I love the way the Corvacs are so shocked. <laughs> yeah, they do always seem shocked. They always seem to put the hands up like, please don't. Don't do this to me. They think wrong of me. I would never harm a, a fellow a fellow Corvax. I wouldn't harm any of the racers. Unless, of course, they harm me first. So obviously I can't get crystallite. Do I go out and search for 50 platinum or do I give him 100 heridium? Go with the heridium. Okay, at least I'm learning some words. Oh, is there a health module here? Oh, there's a shield module. Oh, I don't need shield, I need health. Uh, okay, inventory's full. Well, I have my ship now, so... I can go ahead and transfer stuff to my ship at least. Um John. No way I'm gonna be able to afford it, but hey ho. Two hundred and Can I make any money from selling stuff? Uh, oh my god, I really can't. It always amazes me when you go from you go from one game to another and you go from everything to nothing. <laughs> I had a freighter in my hold game. I had a farm, lots of money. Now I have nothing. 
The electronic life form pauses their work, looks up and focuses their mask lights on my visor. Visor, not visor. They wait for my request, but they seem desperate to get back to their vital research. Do I request dialect help? Or ask for directions. Well, seeing as I have the iridium, I may as well ask for the direct help. <laughs> to be honest, Fusion, I've actually started to feel that same, the same way myself. I think that's why I wanted to do. I was going to start a um, a live stream with a survival mode. But then my brother said that it would probably be a bit more interesting with it being a permadeath, you know, a bit more risk to it, it'd be a bit funnier, and I've never done permadeath, so it's something different. And I have to agree, not having all those units and having to actually be careful is making the game a lot more, a lot more exciting and less boring than what it is when you've got everything. If only, if only I had that in hand. I'm back up to full health. What? When did I get back up to full health? I didn't think your health recharged. Oh, look at all that titanium. And I could have it if I just had my own face. Oh right, I didn't know this. Oh right, yeah I do. Ah no, stay away from you, I don't want to lose them when I've just got them back. Go away, die, die. Where's that pain being done? There we are. Yeah. Oh, do you need to come watch me, uh, watch me live stream more often, Fusion? Probably one of the ones keeping me alive. what you're working right now. Ooh. Back in two minutes, just need to pop to the lift. One plus one is two, two plus four is six, one times two is two, two times three is six, six times four is twenty-four, twenty-four times five is one hundred and twenty, if I'm thinking right. Oh, am I actually being an idiot right now? Twenty-four times five, yeah, one hundred and twenty, six, seven, twenty. Just signal for it. 
So guys, if this is a, uh, a crash ship, as long as it's not a freighter, because I can't do anything with a freighter at the moment. Actually, while I think of that, that is something that I would love to see more of within um, with Next, is the crash freighters. I love the concept, and I love them to bits, but they need to add more content with them, they need to be able to do more with them. Yeah, I don't really know why I worked it out, because I know that one's 720, and I know quite a few of them. Who knows, maybe they'll mix them up a bit and add a few more in there. But now, I mean, who else? Who else thinks that the crash freighters should have more to them? Should have more depth to them. Or maybe even being able to go inside of the crushed, a crushed part of the freighter. Extracting freighter technology from it maybe. Finding injured passengers, being able to help them to get rewards. Take 200 plutonium. What do you mean? I do hope that they they do make them more interesting because I love I like I've got some um, well I like to think I've got some really good shots with the that is a really good point fusion I've just put 200 plutonium into this current ship damn it okay so before I leave here as soon as I have a new place and a place to restore my I'm going to gather another 200 Let's hope there's some round here yes there is but yeah like I was saying with the freighters the um I like to think that I've got some really cool shots with them and I think at the moment that is all that I really do with them I do occasionally dig up the the buried cargo but I usually think half the time that requires more effort than it's worth going and finding all the things to repair the the cargo holds to actually open them up so I would like I would like something more to be able to do with the crash freighters to interact with them and maybe like I say go inside of them find the injured passengers help them out get a reward from it be able to extract loot from them You know what? I'm actually really feeling this grass right now. So. Oh no, what does that mean? Um. Somebody pick a random filter off the top of their head and that's going to be my picture filter. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to involve you guys. It's only a picture. I can always take one of every uh, screen filter. What's your favourite filter then, Fusion? Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> uh, <laughs> I like that. To be fair, I do do that myself quite a bit. I let them scrolling through them all thinking, oh, that looks good, that looks good. Oh, no, that one's amazing. Yeah, turns out it's default. Although, I will admit, I do love... I think you can get some really good shots with isolation. Maybe not this one, just looks a bit too black and white. Contrast, I think you can, but also not this one. And artistic, I think you can get some beautiful ones. No, I will agree. Oh, actually, I don't know. Um, placing the sun behind the building. Right on. I mean, just poking over the top. That's the one. I like that one in vibrant. Um, I also like it in... Let's get rid of those. Okay, how much plutonium do I have? Oh god, I think god how long it takes to be charging scanner. Oh, I do not miss that, I'll tell you. Plutonium. Nice big deposit. Okay. Well, there seems to be a lot of people waiting to uh, waiting to land at this trading post or outpost. I suppose it's about time that I left. Let's go find this crash ship. I know it's better than my starting ship. And I've just ran out of... Oh, that's a perfection. Go! Oh. Okay, so... Feel free to leave in comments if watching this video after it's live stream, because this is something that I actually would like to know people's opinion on, but people watching at the moment... What do you think to an actual jump? So instead of having to like use your jetpack actually being able to just jump over things so for instance like jumping over the fence to get up to the landing pad things like that because it's one thing that kind of annoys me when you you're running low on your life support and you sort of have to use your jetpack all the time why can you not just jump like just something that a little minor things that i really would like to see Perhaps not in next, but just some point in the future. Good. Let's go into space. Permadeath mode, first time in space. Oh, not gonna go too far. Hahaha. <laughs> Uh, now if they actually added tripping as a um, as a feature, that would be rather amusing to be honest. Just seeing everybody trying to hop about, tripping over, falling. But no, it's, it is something that sort of grinds on me every time, like it's a little feature. They've added a jetpack into it, but you wouldn't use a jetpack to jump over a, a like, two foot fence, you would just climb over it or jump over it. Or is that just me being too, too thicky? 
I, I do have a tendency to be like that, so... Okay. Let's see what ship we've got here. Looks like it's shuttle. Got a quick scan. Shuttle C, 660,000 in value. Oh god! Oh yeah, I do agree with you, Fusion. I'm just wondering what your your point of view on it. To you, does it seem pointless adding something like that, or or would it be something that you wouldn't mind seeing? Like I say, I know it's not a big, it's not like a big change or a big a big difference, but it's one of those little things that that just sort of grind on me every now and then. I've just realised as well that I did not even speak to the d distress beacon by my starting ship, which I now have no way of speaking to. <laughs> Somehow I've already managed to mess up the game. No worries, Fusion. Honestly, thank you for viewing so long. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. And feel free to share this video around. This is my first live stream, so I'd love to get my name out there. So any help is appreciated. Uh, feel free to leave in the comments as well anything that you would like me to post or retweet or tweet. I'd be happy to do that just to get your name out there. Like. We're a, we're a community here and quoting Cobra, we're a constellation, we need to look out for each other, we all need to come together. But yeah, thank you so much mate, good to see you, hope to see you around next time. By the looks of it I will be doing another live stream, thank you. Oh my god, how, how lucky is that? The first one I go to and I manage to land the goddamn blueprint for a warp reactor sigma. That is actually so lucky. I remember spending ages trying to find that. Sorry, a bit overexcited there, but... That's just the way I am. So let's compare. 19 shots, 15 slots. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point actually. <laughs> I die and I lose that. <laughs> I lose all that luck I've had. Ah. Oh, okay. Choices, choices. Hickman, 84 UK, I should leave this choice down to you. Do you reckon I should exchange my ship? Or do you reckon I should stick with my starter ship? I can never handle the pressure myself, so it's always good to put that pressure onto somebody else.
Mm, okay. Hickman 84 UK seems to have gone a bit quiet there, so... Oh. No, no, no. Okay. I'll see you later. Thanks for that, and it has been a good start so far. I'm going to leave it here. Thank you for everybody who watched, and anybody who does watch, please like and subscribe if not already done so. And thank you if you do so. And I'll hopefully see you around next time. See you later, guys.